All right, everyone, welcome to Grand Portage and the finish of the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon. Ryan Anderson just crossed the finish line in first place. He is greeting his lead dogs right now, congratulating them. And here come the flowers. We love this tradition. The lead dogs that cross the finish line for the winner are always given a little flower necklace to wear. So there's Ryan Anderson with his lead dogs Love it. <laughs> and happy faces here at the finish of the John Bear Grease sled dog marathon. Ryan had a pretty sizable lead on our second place uh, finisher who we're expecting maybe in about an hour or so. So we figured this was likely going to be the winner this year. And this is Ryan's fourth Bear Grease title. He ties now Nathan Schroeder and Jamie Nelson for the most titles won by a Bear Grease musher. So a very exciting day for him and for his family. He took last year off of the 300 mile sled dog marathon after his wife had their second child. So uh, a triumphant return here to the 300 mile Bear Grease sled dog marathon. How are you feeling? How is it to win again? How impressed are you of your dog? <laughs> he's never read, led in a, in a long distance weight race before, and he's unfazed by it, so he did, he did awesome. No musky. Brian Anderson, our 2022 champion, is from Cushing, Wisconsin. Made the move a couple of years ago from Ray, Minnesota to be uh, closer to his wife's job. Had to move the whole kennel down there. They've got 35 dogs in the Andertier Racing Kennel. Yeah, right. And this wasn't an easy race to win by any means. We started with a field of 24 mushers. Right now, 12 are still in the race. Half of the field has dropped out. That's because temperatures have been pretty warm for a race like this. The dogs prefer to run in what is as cold as possible for them. So uh, these teens, 20s, even 30s that we've been seeing on the race is pretty warm for them. So uh, that makes the snow on the trail pretty punchy, a little hard to run in. Some of the mushers describe it as mashed potato like. So uh, a happy finish here for Ryan Anderson, who was able to pace his team and bring them through those conditions here to the finish line in Grand Portage, all the way from the starting line back on Sunday morning at Billy's Bar in Duluth. From here, he'll take the dogs to rest. I'm sure he's got a special special snack planned for them. Maybe a nap in his own future too, but we'll certainly be talking to him about what this fourth win means for him and, and what it took to get through these conditions and to the finish line. We will definitely have the latest for you at five and six as we watch him head off, head off from the finish line here to Get some rest for this incredible sled dog team. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We will see you at 5 and 6 on WDIO.